Hello everyone, my name is Anastasia and today I'm not doing a floss tube, but I will be doing something very, very exciting. I will be doing 24 hours of cross stitch. <laughs> so that's super exciting for me because it's the first time I officially like tried for the first, like I know this uh, marathon will be the 10th. Like, uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to watch Jen Lee at Quirks and Stitches. And it, it's her baby. Like, she literally just came up with the idea and she's doing it with her mom. And they are so awesome, like, hilarious. And the videos are amazing. And uh, so far, I watched several of their uh, marathons. And... Uh, I know that like lots of other people are doing that. And last year, I think it was pretty popular with the Russian cross stitchers on the Russian type of floss tube to make like 24 hours of non-stop cross stitch. So this time uh, I was like challenging myself. So I want to try it too. And I'm not doing like the aggressive style, like 24 hours in 24 hours. I will be doing it uh, from today, today is Friday, um, like around six o'clock in the evening. I just came from work and so I will be starting to stitch maybe a couple of hours and then tomorrow and Sunday. But today I should have more time to stitch, but I would just spend two hours on stitching and then I will have to relocate, um, relocate. Uh, to another apartment because I have to confess this apartment is shit cold I don't know like they promised us to give the heating next week in maybe two weeks so it's not that bad like the heating will be up here <laughs> soon but because this year it's kind of colder than last year so and the year before that so this like this time October and November are way colder in Beijing, China, than they should have been. Um, so yeah, I'm freezing up here and it's not very comfortable for me to stitch for a long time sitting in one place. Of course, I'm like cuddling in my blanket and uh, stitching and like drinking hot teas and coffees and everything. but. I'm just not into stitching right now for so long, like for 24 hours um, or at least like 12 hours a day uh, because when I got cold, I just lose my speed. I start rubbing my hands and trying to snuggle and get some more hot water and everything. So just like it really, really affects my speed. So because of that, I decided to spend like the weekend at another place and I will be going there by subway. So usually I'm able to stitch on subway and the way there is quite a long one, maybe hour and a half. So I expect I can stitch for at least an hour in the subway. So maybe I will be doing a little clip from the subway, how I'm stitching there and what I'm stitching. And like, I know everyone knows how the subway looks like, but it's still maybe interesting to see the Chinese subway, something like that. So. All long story short is that I'm doing 24 hours of cross stitch and I decided to film it to see my progress and uh, what I'm gonna do is that first I will announce what uh, project I will be working on and tell you about the project then I will time my time I will be stitching like mm, two three hours four hours uh, on a timer so exact time what I'm stitching if I will be like stopping like bathroom break or uh, eating or like sleeping, I will stop the timer and uh, like I will try to stitch exactly 24 hours without any breaks or without any um, distractions. So, and then I, in the end, I will be making a little clip like what I accomplished and this is my 24 hours. <laughs> so that's gonna be exciting. Um, 
like before when I just had this idea and I heard first that this weekend will be it and it was like a couple of weeks ago that I heard first time it, about it so I was like excited and uh, I know a lot of people uh, who like I watched them before who were starting like 12 things and stitching them two hours each or starting 24 smalls and stitching just one hour or choosing like 12 whips and putting work into each of them and I was so excited like in first thought is like I'm gonna stitch on all my projects like all my whips plus a couple of uh, new stars to make it like 12 or something and I was like and uh, but after I toyed with the idea and uh, after I knew that I will have to relocate because really I just can't st stay here the whole weekend and uh, not leave the apartment and just uh, freeze to death. The winter is coming. So yeah, I decided that I will shorten up the list of things I will be touching during these 24 hours. And uh, I will be putting more work in each of my project. And that's also exciting. I mean, of course I want to put as much work as possible in each of them, so that should be very exciting. So let's start and see what I am probably going to work on. The first thing I will be working on is the horse, uh, horse dream catcher, uh, which I'm stitching on a jacket for my boyfriend. And uh, this is only half of the design. Um, it will be longer, but this time I will be just focusing on it and uh, I don't know. I mean, it's difficult to work on it. It takes me a couple of hours working on it, but it doesn't give me as much uh, stitches as I'm used to during this time. Like usually in two hours, I can do 300 stitches, let's say that. But on this project, I'm doing like 120 stitches in two hours. That's like way less, even not even half my speed. So I'm a little disappointed by this, uh, but I need to do at least thousand stitches a week. And I think this week I haven't managed even like a couple of hundreds here. Because a couple of days this week were not very stitchy days. Super and... busy at work, like very busy. Um, I managed two groups in the kindergarten right now, so I had to prepare craft supplies and craft projects for two groups now. And that's like made me do 19 hair bands, like a rabbit, for 19 kids. And of course, like they will have their creative part where they draw the little rabbit face and maybe draw, color it and stuff. But the most part I would do because the kids are like two year old and they were so happy, like just seeing their happy faces when they saw the rabbits and when we finished the face and they put it on, it's it, it just worth it. But it took me so much time doing it. So very busy. That's my work. <laughs> I'm a craft teacher in a kindergarten in China, so my work is to prepare. <laughs> I will be focusing on the blue of the horse and a little more in her hair. If you have seen my last video, you notice that I already put in some of the whites. I think it's like beads in the mane. And I also added some of the blue. So not much difference with the last cluster, but... Uh, I hope that I will be able to stitch on it because I can't just stitch on it 24 hours. It's too difficult for my hands. Um, the jacket itself is very heavy. So holding it and I'm stitching on hoop and I'm holding my uh, hoop in my hands. So I don't have a frame. I don't have a holder or anything like clap. Like, so yeah, I don't have it. And uh, that's why it's difficult for me to hold it for a long time. My hands get tired faster so I prefer to stitch on this project a couple of hours then switch to something else so I will be stitching on it right now after I finish this episode this like segment so see you later and I'm back and it's been exactly two hours uh, I've been using stopwatch to see how long it is so it's like two hours 50 seconds and I managed to finish my thread exactly like that so um, pumped up and uh, ready to go more but unfortunately I have to leave now so maybe I will stitch more in the subway yay <laughs> so I don't know just this thing getting me excited and everything just like having a good 
mood all the same I, I don't know how I'm gonna be like by the end of the Sunday and uh, when I will have to edit all of the videos but I hope it's it's still gonna be nice so what I was doing and watching and um, uh, stitching uh, first of all about stitching I've been stitching some of the horse so I did some of the dark blues exactly is uh, uh, 930 and uh, 3750 so if you can see the progress you really have a good eyesight <laughs> um, like basically maybe some of the darker blues popped up more yeah <laughs> that's it so um, I don't know why uh, because I was just rambling about like my speed getting slower and everything on this project but uh, in just two hours, I did uh, over 350 stitches and I'm like, whoa, I didn't expect that. So it, it's amazing and uh, it's not what I would usually do in three in two hours, but it's still really, really good. And uh, I have nothing to complain about, but I think I was just rushing and trying to stitch more. Plus uh, this weekend, like yeah I will show so you can some you have something to see while I'm rambling or you can look at the stitches back in the back so uh, what I was saying is that this weekend I'm doing no social media uh, weekend um, uh, so I'm not using Instagram no WhatsApp no contacts yeah no messengers nothing I, I'm still using WeChat because that's what I uh, use for work <laughs> but I'm not gonna scroll any pictures I'm not watching floss tube uh, I originally I thought I would be watching some floss tube when I was stitching but I don't know every time I watch floss tube I just want to comment and uh, um, I don't know like before before I started my floss tube I was never a vivid commenter like uh, I would just watch it put a like and that's it like but now that I have positive of my own and I receive people's comments and I really 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 appreciate and love each and every one of them like people um, just spending time watching it and uh, uh, spending time texting me that's amazing output so yeah since then I started commenting almost on every video I watch like there are very 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 few that I would watch and maybe by the end of the video I would just like be distracted or I would have to relocate or relocate I don't know what's what's wrong with me and that word <laughs> uh, so and go somewhere else do something so I would just forget to leave a comment and uh, whenever I would turn it on it's never there again right so for the first part, I decided to watch Friends and uh, I've been watching them. I was binge watching them for the last maybe couple of weeks and now I'm on season three and I'm loving them. Uh, I mean, I never watched them. I mean, I saw one or two episodes here and there, maybe some mm, fun mm, little clips or something but never like the full episodes and one by one so I'm really really loving it and it gives me some good mood and inspiration I think so yeah um, that's my first two hours of 24 hours and I'm doing really good yay so see you later hi and so I'm back with another update so I'm currently in the subway I got myself a seat and I'm ready to stitch so I'm gonna flip you around and show you how I'm stitching in the subways and uh, like uh, I'm looking at my pattern and everything. So see you next So this is actually like the full subway today. I don't know, maybe because it's Friday, but usually it's not that many people around. So this is how you usually do it. Like I sit, I have my baggie on my lap, um, here is my travel project where I keep my scissors and uh, floss and today I'm just back stitching so it's just a big bundle of black thread and I'm starting to backstitch this gorgeous lady my Halloween girl oh 
you can see so much more detail on this camera so many blends and beautiful colors so what I'm doing is um, I hope you can hear it well because it's a little bit loud here so I'm stitching it from my app Saga X Stitch Cross Stitch Saga sorry Cross Stitch Saga and I'm just like highlighting whatever I did um, so it kind of looks like this so whenever I do something I will highlight it or I can actually like change the color scheme and I can instead erase the things I did. So, but I prefer highlighting things. Like this, at least I can have like orientation by colors and uh, like by different um, symbols and stuff like that because usually if it's all white on a, on a scheme like i never stitch on black and white patterns right now mostly it's colored ones so this is what i'm gonna do now for another maybe 40 minutes i will time it up and when i finish i'm not sure i will be doing an update right from the subway because i still have a little to go but maybe tomorrow morning I will show you how much I did and uh, how much time I managed to stitch here. So, see you! Good morning everyone. Um, it's almost 9 o'clock in the morning and I still feel so sleepy. Last night, uh, subway and then like the whole relocation. Oh, I finally get this word like right because before I watched my uh, previous segments and I was like, what the why why do i have a problem with this word so uh this whole thing took me a long time and uh, i don't know it's it's suddenly worth it it's so nice and warm here <laughs> much better than in my apartment so i am gonna stitch as much as i can today uh, i am aiming for at least 12 hours because it's right now like nine o'clock in the evening in the morning so i i think i can do like till nine o'clock in the evening easily of course with lunch and dinner I i'm gonna order did you know that chinese like they just leave on order ordering food um like even if they have a day off they would never cook and they have a whole equipped kitchen and everything but they would just order food and they order everything three times a day all the time i mean mm, i don't know if it's like so common uh, I know it's not very common in Japan and other Asian countries to order everything. I mean, they don't even go to the supermarkets. They just, like, every supermarket can deliver food. And it's it's so nice. <laughs> I mean, I always use this opportunity if I can. So, long story short, uh, what I did on a subway yesterday, and uh, I'm sorry it was so loud. Uh, I only managed 27 minutes because I had to switch the trains, so it's not much of a stitching. But I finished her nose, her ear, uh, eye, and I started on the outline of her face. Uh, the difficulty with this backstitch is that it just in segments, like um, uh, it highlights all of this and nothing in her hair because there should be a colorful backstitch, like her hair should be in 3371 and the pumpkins and should be in darker brown so i'm not doing that i'm just doing all black and white and uh, it requires like one strand of black and two strands of black so basically i just highlight one of the colors in one strand and i go all over the um, segment in all the uh, one strand of black then I highlight with everything with two strands and we'll go over uh, with black so yeah mine may not be as realistic but I think I prefer only black and white backstage I really really don't like colorful backstage because sometimes I th think like the effect is um, mostly lost because uh, it's a, sh dar a shade. Uh, it's a darker shade, uh, of like brown or gray or whatever. But it's not that visible, and I spend like tons of time to do backstage, and it's not visible. That's just killing me. So yeah, I'm doing everything in black. So so far, I'm loving it. I just adore her little ear. I think she's very like 
he has a very big ear, but I mean, it's so detailed and you can basically see everything inside. That's so cool. So I'm starting this morning, though I'm super sleepy, so I don't think I can manage too much. But I'm starting with the horse and I will continue to fill in the blues. Uh, I'm actually not feeling so great today. I think I'm catching a cold or something. So, but it's a challenge. So I'm gonna go through the whole challenge and I will see um, if I really will get sick. I, um, I think I will not do 24 hours whole, but I will try to. We'll see it together. <laughs> see you later. And I'm back with more progress. It's been two hours and 33 minutes, so I kind of filled in the hours four and five. So you can see I am using the official like time tracker from the Facebook group by created by Jen Lee. And she actually has a lot of like uh, uh, printouts for challenges and for um, marathons and any uh, like planners and stuff like that. So that's like really nice and uh, I didn't expect it to be like this good. So uh, I print it out for me and um, it's really nice. And um, um, so far in two hours and 30 minutes, I did 273 stitches. And yes, it, the speed is a little less because I am so sleepy and a little cranky. Morning is generally not my type, not my time, so you see. Like, I'm the most active in the afternoon, maybe late afternoon, and the night time. This is my regular time of activities. <laughs> but in the mornings, I'm like basically like a zombie. So what did I did on the horse dream catcher was I filled in some blue in like light blue and darker blue and one of the blends. So if you can actually see the change, Good luck for you because I cannot like maybe because I'm stitching and I'm stitching like some stitches here and some stitches here and some stitches here change the thread some stitches here and again and again and again so I kind of cannot see the progress that much but I guess on these videos because they change you will be able to see it better but actually like 200 stitches on this big project is not that much so um, I almost fulfill my goal for this week like I, uh, last time I was working on it, I said that I need to stitch at least 1000 stitches a week to finish it by the new year. And so far I've stitched like 700 something. So I guess if I stitch maybe tonight or tomorrow morning, another 200 stitches, that would be enough. And it's a wonderful project. It really, uh, when I'm doing it, it's nice, it has big chunks of color and everything, but I'm just getting tired because of this jacket. It's so massive. I mean, it would be so much easier. It would be a t-shirt or a little piece of fabric or something. So I love how the finishing project will look on a jacket, but stitching on jackets in general, especially the jean jacket, which is heavy, mm, not my cup of tea. So what I'm be stitching next is I will have a new start of a little foxy. I'm doing the Christmas ornaments on this fabric. This is lemon uh, 30 count Ukrainian even weave. And so far I have the owl bear and the something bear. No, something owl. Owl, I think this is owl bear and owl deer. Yay! Morning. So, owl deer and owl bear. And today I will be starting an owl fox. So, yeah, that's my organization. Behold the monstrosity of flosses. I even have some floss leftovers from uh, Mireshka the summertime and some of the colors were there so i'm like yeah i'm totally using it because they are just dmc threads and i mark them up all the colors so i think that would be easy to use um 
yeah, so I think I will be starting it right now. I will make a little break for lunch, which I ordered. I will show you later what I'm eating. And uh, then I will be st stitching it most part of the day, maybe till the evening. So I don't ex I don't expect to make another video very soon. So probably you will see a progress. So showing you that it's a literally new start is that I don't have anything on my fabric yet. So probably I will just choose the corner and do it here. Like this, I will be able to cut out nicely <laughs> when I finish all four. Yeah, so let's see where I got and see you later. So let's see, this is my gonna be my lunch. A little bit unboxing here of lunch. And nothing is readable. So let's see what they brought me. Okay, ooh, nice cup. Ooh. So this should be congee or porridge. This is a porridge, rice porridge with 100 year old eggs, vegetables and chicken. And also, I've got a nice meat pie. Mmm, smells really good. I wish it could give the smell. And I think this is like a hot sauce. Because it's tiger. <laughs> tiger band chili sauce. Mmm. So, unfortunately, I cannot eat this. So, this will be given to my friend. Yeah. So, also with the every purchase, Chinese include uh, chopsticks and uh, a spoon and a tissue so which will be actually very useful for me because i'm not gonna wash any dishes today so this is my lunch enjoy your meal and i'm back five hours later oh my god <laughs> i can't believe like i've been stitching so long today so just for update first is um i've been stitching this lovely lovely foxy it's owl fox, but right now it's just a fox. So I finished off, um, I think I finished off all the blends and uh, I think all of the orange colors and definitely all the whites and beige. And what is left are her paws and just the eyes and the inside the ears. And I will be done with all the axes, but I'm kind of tired of this project. Like I just did 700 stitches, even. I didn't even count for it. I mean, I was just like, mm, I will stitch another hour and I will see how much I did. And I tapped the program and it says 700. I was like, whoa! So yeah, that was unexpected. So for five hours, I did 700 stitches. And in total today, it's just a little short of a thousand. And I'm gonna stitch some more today. So I'm breaking my records on how many stitches a day can do that's 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 just blowing off my mind so i've been stitching on the fox and all the updates that come with it first of all i've been watching uh house storm house storm i think it's like that it's a series about like supernatural powers devils and uh, like um uh, the church it's actually a pretty cool series um uh, but the first episode totally bought me. Like, I was so in. And by the third and fourth, there's such a slow revealing of plot and such slow events going on that I was like, mm, okay, it's still pretty cool, but it's very thinly slow. But then all the cool characters that started as a, such a badass, like, cool, powerful, supernatural guys, they turned out, like, very broken and... Uh, not really superpower, because, like, basically the main character just fires someone and then, like, collapses in a heap because he's powerless and so, um, like, exhausted and everything. And, like, yeah, but in the first two episodes you could, like, do stuff and move and no one says you have a limit. So, basically, yeah, it's getting lamer. But I'm right now on episode seven. I guess it's, like, 
almost half of it or more than a half. So I will be watching it still, but maybe not today. I'm kind of getting bored with it. I'm bored with the Fox. I'm bored with the series. So I'm guessing I will switch on to Floss Tube. I will watch everything that's on the Floss Tube out to now. And I think I have another maybe six hours of cross-stitch today. I mean, I will try. I just ordered my dinner. So that will take some time. And uh, maybe I will go to bed early today because I'm feeling much better. I mean, compared to the morning, I'm feeling much better, but I don't want to deprive myself of sleep. Uh, so tomorrow I will be getting more sick and then on Monday I will collapse because I really can't really go to work with kids and be like all sick and running nose and coughing stuff like that. So I need to regain my health <laughs> this weekend together with the marathon. So... This is how my tracker looks right now. So I, I've i been coloring it. So I've colored all the yellows, what I've been working on a dream catcher horse, which is hanging right there right now. So it's not that bad looking, right? I mean, it looks pretty good size. So and this is how much was the owl forest this gives me 10 hours up to today i'm on hour number 10 and if i can do another five six hours ooh, i may finish this early tomorrow and even edit this video and upload it who may know but i don't want to promise anything because who knows this video may come up like by the end of the week <laughs> next week i mean because I will be sick and lazy, I cannot edit it. Yeah, so I also Skyped with my mom. It took me around two hours, I think, but I was stitching all the time with her. Maybe not so fast as I would, but so so many news, like good news, a lot of good news, a lot of good stuff happening, but also like um, my father's new wife got COVID. So yeah, that was like, unexpected and not very very bad i mean very very bad so yeah sending her my prayers and good thoughts and virtual hugs actually i'm sending virtual hugs to anyone who wants them i'm like a very huggable person <laughs> so hug you all right now i'm a little tired like my eyes a little burned out and my mood is so, so, so I will be switching to floss too, which usually cheers me up a lot because like some guys are hilarious there. And uh, I will be going for a slightly easier project. Uh, I'm color completing here too, but I go in rows by 10. So I just start in the upper corner and I go the whole color up to the down one maybe park the thread then take the next color and color complete it i think a couple of two or three colors already complete there in the sky and once i finish this row i will go to the next row and next row and next row so i'm doing this in rows because that's kind of confetti heavy i don't know how well you can see but there are like three or four colors of grays in here so it gives a wonderful sky and clouds but stitching it is a nightmare so just lighting up the 10 by 10 blocks and going in rows it helps me not to like wander off and miss some stitches so i can always like go in a row and fill in all the stitches of this color so i don't need to go back and fill them in so i think it's like kind of parking but I don't really park my threads. I mean, if I have them there, I will still be like finishing the thread or something. So my lazy parking, like lazy parking when you don't park, <laughs> but it still looks like parking, <laughs> something like that. And I'm not sure if I can finish it. I'm like, I'm sure I cannot finish this part, but I will be trying to put as much stitches as I can. So let's see what i can do and in the meanwhile happy stitching
and another food unboxing. So now we've got a package like that. Did you know that Chinese pay so much attention to packaging? Like much more than the actual food. So the knot on it is fine. So I can basically do it with one hand. I prepared the scissors for it. So yeah, I still need the scissors. I don't need the bag. Never mind that. It has a logo of that restaurant, so I can't really take it anyway. So that's fine. So let's see. Of course, the chopsticks, which I will be using. Oh, a little cake. That's cute. Okay, we've got something in the foil. So I guess it will be very, very caught. Oops. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, I've got double packaging. Nice. Ew. Just rip this out. I'm a barbarian. So we've got takoyaki balls. I will open it. And noodles. Ramen. Actually, I thought it would be soup. Do we have soup? Ooh, we've got the soup. So the dinner is kind of Japanese style. So let's try to prepare it. Basically, we've got mm -hmm, shrimps and some veggies and noodles. And even their signature something like a Japanese ramen and an egg. Looks yummy. So let's go for the soup. I don't know if they're supposed to sink in it so much, but there was so much soup. So I'm going to give it couple of minutes to warm up, especially the noodles and the wedges, and it's gonna be so nice. Let's see, takoyaki balls, another Japanese yummy deliciousness. So basically they are my favorite, they have octopus inside, so for those of you who are terrified of octopus and squids, please don't look, but they're so good. And this is a mocha rice cake. Yeah, and it's filled with. Oh, it's filled with mocha cream, and I broke it. Never mind, I will eat it anyway. Yes, I'm touching my food with fingers. So, happy dinner, everyone! And I'm back. It's already 11 p.m., and that's it for today. I'm done. Um, it's actually a nice wonderful day with a lot of stitching done and uh, kind of a lot of like floss tube and movies very relaxing but if i would do it by myself like on a regular basis i wouldn't stitch so much i guess because uh, i would definitely like do some household chores and household chores and like uh, cook my own meals I, I usually don't deliver that much on weekends because I like my own meals, <laughs> I like to cook them, and uh, I think uh, I would have less, basically, like, right, straight away stitch time, um, so less stitching, but I think I'm done for today, and I had a really good progress, so what I've been doing so far, I just spent three and a half hours stitching on Heritage Stitch Crafts John Clayton artwork uh, Wintership. I notice that sometimes I forget to mention the fabrics, I forget to mention the names of the charts or whatever. I mean, I guess it's not that important because if you see it and you like it, you will ask it or you may, you may even know some of them. But still, I'm very sorry if I ever forget it. <laughs> but I'm kind of tired and sleepy and I think I'm having a running nose. Like, just the segment before that, I was talking about how I feel so much way better. And now I'm already feeling way down. Because I think it's I think it's because it's evening and I need to go to bed. But I will be starting stitching again next morning. So, as you see, I just finished this one row. Like, you saw it before. Now you see it all stitched. So, as I did, I did 474 stitches. So... With this, I will be covering three and a half hours, and it will give me 13 and a half hours in total, like for 
two days for Friday evening and uh, Saturday whole day. It's not that much as I would expect. I thought I would do like I always set up these goals for myself, which, which is like way bigger than I usually achieve. But it's like perfect goals, let's say that. And it's usually like mm, something I strive to reach, but I never do. So I don't have this feeling of accomplishment. But if I do, it it's just way over my board. So probably I never do. So I thought I would do 16. It's 13 and a half, which leaves me with 10 and a half more hours for tomorrow. So I will need to start very early tomorrow uh, so I can finish before very late evening so I can still edit it and upload it because I don't want to do it at Monday. Monday is my work day. <laughs> so I finished the sky. I also worked on these little petite stitches in the roofs and chimneys and uh, finished some of the brown house. I actually got some brown and darker brown in the next rows. So I was stitching this from top to bottom. This one I think I will go from bottom to top. I think I will save this for tomorrow evening. Maybe the last couple of hours. So uh, you will see this work one more time because I'm just in love with it. As much as it's confetti and as much as it's like gray and winter and totally not my style of project, just look at that little shape. It's so cute. And like they even have a little path that leads to another ship and these little cottages. Oh, I love it. I officially love it. If uh, someone would ask me ever before, would I consider doing a Clayton circle? I would say like no, they they don't have so much detail for me as I'm used to, like with the Russian cross stitch patterns, and uh, they're kind of a little primitive and style. But since I started doing one, I would say yes, yes, give me more because they are definitely really worth it. So if you ever see artwork by John Clayton, just grab it. It's absolutely stunning when it's stitched, and I mean it's such an easy stitch. Um, Though it has a lot of like petite stitches and uh, uh, quarter stitches and uh, I don't know how you how it's called like the longer ones like you don't stitch the whole square but you stitch the half square but it's not petite it's like the long uh, rectangle you get in the oh there is a hair on my face whatever. So there's a lot of those and I didn't know what, how to stitch them. So I just changed all of them into petites. So yeah, but it gives like so much detail and amazing. Um, at first I thought it would be difficult on Ada. So what I'm doing is I'm using a very, very sharp needle. Like basically maybe, no. No, it doesn't focus on the needle. Focus on the needle, focus on the needle, focus on the needle. It doesn't want to focus on the needle, but basically it's a very, very sharp needle. It's way sharper than any cross stitch needle, and, but it has a longer eye, so you can thread your threads comfortably. And I will, I will put a picture here, and it's very sharp. And I had some poking incidents when I just poke my hand several times with this needle because I'm just used to like correcting my stitches with my fingers because like cross stitch needles aren't sharp, but these ones really are. So this is it for today and I'm loving it. And I think it's a wonderful result. Yeah, these are all park threads for tomorrow. At least I think, I don't know if I will be able to finish the whole one because it just took me three and a half stitches, hours to do that. But at least I will work in most of the park threads in the next block. Yeah, I think so. I, that's what I will do tomorrow. So tomorrow morning we will meet and we will see how it goes. So have a good night and uh, have sweet stitchy dreams. Bye bye. Good morning again. I just woke up and had my breakfast. It's uh, 
around 8 28 in the morning look at that one that's like russia so it's around 8 28 in the morning so i hope i can sum it up this in under two minutes and just start at 8 30. this will give me a lot of time so right now i'm on my 14th hour I stitched yesterday 13 and a half hours. Not like yesterday. Yesterday was only 11 and a half hours and uh, two hours on Friday. So it gives me 13 and a half hours. So I need to speed up today. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry for my hoarse voice. I, I think I'm mm, getting the cold, but it's still getting so slowly and... Uh, Maybe it will be just a minor and I can get over it in a week or so. Uh, I took some pills, but nothing too serious. So <clears throat> let's just not focus on it, okay? So I will be starting my day with the horse. And today I want to try to go onto her horns more. His horns more. That's a he, definitely. So... I think I will go up and see if I have big blocks of colors here, and if not, I will just fill in his face more. Um, I'm not setting myself some goals on time or um, stitches. I'm a little short of 250 stitches uh, on to make a thousand this week, so I will complete the thousand and uh, finish my thread, and that will be it. So I think it will. It will take me a couple of hours to do so. So it's a relaxing morning stitch and I'm gonna enjoy it. Um, just look, this effect is done with like so many blends, but it's totally worth it. It's like real, a real horse chick. <laughs> so I have a question for you. What are your favorite snacks when you are stitching? Because Usually I can't eat too much when I'm stitching because my fingers get dirty. So I tend to find something like non-chocolate, nothing melting, nothing sticky. Um, I tend to eat fruit with a little fork or like my favorite, my latest favorite uh, find is uh, Chinese dates. They are really, really Cool. I mean, they're not very sweet, but they are watery, so whenever I feel thirsty or something, I can just grab a couple. And uh, they are really nice and crunchy, and uh, I mean, they don't make my hands sticky, because they are, uh, they have this skin. Um, also, I've been eating some chips lately, and uh, my favorite is Chinese wasabi chips. Like they have something green inside them. They are wasabi chips. So what are your all-time favorite snacks for the stitching? Tell me please, maybe I will have, <laughs> I will try something of yours. So see you later and I will show you how much I can get on the horse dream catcher. See you. And two hours later and another update. I thought I would show it to you this way so you can see better because if I hoop it I will either lose this part or this part and that's exactly where I worked on. Yeah I said I will work more on the horns and I actually did. I filled in one of the colors but the majority of the color that I need is 474 and 475 and I don't have it with me, so I could not work on it. I was like, oh, bummer. So that's why I went down there and filled in some of the darker shade of blues. I was working with the blend with this color. So basically it's uh, 3750 and 939. So you can see the blend and it goes all the way up to the bottom of his neck. So... Most of the colors that I have right now, they are currently like these places, so I'm not gonna stitch them, but I actually did 101 stitch for this week. Gives me 101 stitch. Today I did 194, which is really good for two hours on this project in the morning. And you can see that official my progress mark is at 24.77% which is yay, considering that I still need to stitch open. 
this many, <laughs> 13,000. So we're just like 3,000 out of 30,000. But you can see like backstitch takes at least 5,000 of stitches here. Mm, usually it doesn't take me that much long to do it. So I'm not very, mm, I'm not very scared of it. I think I will be able to do all the backstitch in two or three days. So they also have oblong stitches, quarter stitches, and a lot of like 10,000 of cross stitches. So I have exactly like seven weeks left. And if I do 1,000 each week, that would bring me four backstitch at the end of January. And I think it would be a nice, nice present. So this is how it looks so far. You can already see the horse. I, uh, some people ask me if I'm scared that this um, horse will be like lost on the jacket because it's practically the same color. I'm not afraid because, you know, it will be all heavily backstitched and around the horse there are still different colors. Like, um, uh, let me show you the picture. I always forget that. So in her face, it will have more white here and the only actual like place where they connect with the uh, will be the forehead so basically like all the blues are inside so i'm not i'm not scared all the blues will be distinct and you can actually see them so what i'm left here i think with a lot of beads and just small segments so yeah, I made the most, the biggest color patches here. Yay! <laughs> so what I'm gonna stitch next is my Halloween girl. And I think it's a wonderful time to start backstitching her more. Because I already started the other day and I'm just dying from her ear and her nose. Can you see that? Oh, such a nice just a wonderful work of designer i'm like i can never praise anna claude more um and it's a freebie i mean she tried so hard for a freebie so my main uh, tip for backstitching like heavily heavily uh, backstitch pieces is that i'm using just a sewing thread for backstitching in one strand of floss it's very thin and I'm using this thread which is much thicker for two strands like you can see the distinguish thin and thicker one so and like this I don't need to go over the pieces for two times I can just apply this and of course a very very sharp needle like I'm using sewing needles when I backstitch and very thin ones I think I got my first uh, needles like f as a beading needles but after that I switched to just sewing ones because I think I broke all my beading needles it's been a long time and I usually buy a bunch of needles at the same time so these are my tips for backstitching and I'm gonna start now so see you in a couple of hours so it's time for lunch and uh, here is what I am doing right now. And another food unboxing. Today is just a plain white bag. Let's see. Ooh, so many things. Let's see. We've got some spicy sauce by the look of it. We've got some kangi, maybe pumpkin one. We've got some... Ooh, this supposed to be neat. Yeah. The package, the package, in the package. So, nice. Okay. Some noodles. I have a noodle. I have no idea what's this and how you eat it. Okay, then we've got some pickles and another fried noodle. I guess that's for me. So let's see how it looks. Um, so basically how you eat it is you put it inside, right? Yeah. So we're going to see it. Mm, that's your food. It's kind of spicy. Uh, so the barbecue, the congee, and 
yummy fried noodles with meat. Enjoy your meal, everyone! And we are back with another update. So, I've been stitching Hell Girl from 11 to 2. I didn't count the uh, lunch time. So basically you can see first I started with an <laughs> even number of hours and then it was 3 hours 30 minutes and then 2 hours and then 3 hours so now I need to put 30 minutes somewhere. So I managed to stitch 443 stitches and that gave me 81% of the whole project. And yes, my mood is very sleepy because... I don't know, maybe after lunch or just because it's the time of the day like that. I'm feeling so tired and sleepy right now, so I think I need a switch. Because this project is nice and wonderful, but I just don't feel like doing it right now. So what did I do so far? I used two strand, uh, t like a figure strand or two strand of backstitch for the neck outline of her mask. She has like a sugar skull mask and um, uh, her shoulder. And uh, the rest, hair and uh, the pumpkin, are in one strand thread. Yeah, I had a little accident here, like you see this red spot. This is actually the marker that I was highlighting the chart. I dropped it off and it fall on the on the fabric, but they are washable, so I'm pretty sure when I finish it all, I can scrub this place a little bit and wash it. I decided to take a little uh, break. What I'm gonna do now? This is what I'm gonna do. Um, this was my present for my boyfriend. He really likes Lego and I found this real cool statue of Spider-Man. And it's very difficult to build it up because um, I think the instructions aren't really, really good. Just look at that mess. But the instructions aren't really that understandable like basically you have to look through and see what kind of pieces they put together like they don't give you like the actual number like find um, three threes and f five squares or whatever so uh, that's why my boyfriend cannot make it and i have to come here every weekend and build maybe three rows four rows of it i think it will take me about an hour and a half to make next three rows so that will be a nice break from stitching but i will be counting as is 24 hours of cross stitch because mm, i consider it's kind of craft maybe not crafted toy but why not puzzles and legos are also very similar to cross stitch right so i will be making the spider-man so basically we can see we have it has the spider on it we have the face and we have two legs and i think i will cover his head today this is how much it should go on and the back too so it has 42 steps and i'm currently on step number 13. I mark the ones I finished. So I finished up 12 and I'm doing step 13. So I will be starting with this now. 13, 14, 15. Maybe I can do 16 or 17 else. Like I will try to fit in one and a half hour. So I can close this gap. And the last four hours I'm planning to spend on wintership. But I will show it to you later. So it's been an hour and a half and we're back and actually my Spider-Man now has a full head and some stumps instead of arms and legs. But what I've been working on is that I closed his back so now he has a spider on his back too. Yeah, and I've been working on bringing up his hand. But it's been an hour and a half so now I would be switching on stitching. And I finished, let's see, I finished number 13, number 14, number 15, number 16, and number 17. So this time I finished four rows. 
but they're getting smaller and smaller every time. See, so next one I will be like building his hand. That should be very exciting. Like I am dying to try to do this one to build his hand. Probably next weekend. Yeah, I've been watching a little bit of Floss too. Probably not commenting as much as I usually do because I wanted to concentrate on this and I will maybe watch some movie. Who knows? Or continue watching Floss Tube next. And once more it's getting dark. My eyes are tired. I'm generally getting tired. I don't know. Usually like stitching is so relaxing and nice. But I guess when you sit several hours in one place and you just stitch, 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 stitch. It becomes like a job, not like an entertainment that much. So I will try to fill in this spot. I have four more hours left on my 24 hour cross stitch. So let's see if I can get at least one more row or two more rows because they are getting smaller and smaller every time and I have a lot of park threads here. Maybe if I can do one more row but I don't have enough time for a second row, I can just stitch in the park threads so they will look good. Oh, I'm just loving how it looks on the camera. So much detail, so much detail. Hmm, little sheep. Yeah. My back is very messy, like I'm stitching all the ways, up, down, sideways, carrying my threads, no knots though, but I don't really care, no one will pay attention to the back, right? So I'm not afraid to show my back, so happy stitching and see you next time! Hey, and officially I'm done with 24 hours of cross stitch! Hooray! So now it's Sunday, the 8th of November, and it's 7.30 in the evening, um, 7.40 I think already, and I officially just finished my last four hours of stitching. Hooray! My friend Broccoli is very happy for me here. Yay! <laughs> so I'm going to turn you around and show you all my projects. But first of all, I wanted to tell you thank you so much, so much to everyone who is still watching and who's been with me through all this my journey. It's my first time doing something like that, like vloggish style and uh, um, cross stitching 24 hours non-stop and uh, I don't know, just, just first time for everything, I guess. And uh, knowing that someone will watch it and... Uh, uh, will spend this time with me is just priceless, I guess. Thank you everyone who is still watching. Uh, I love you all. I I'm just elated right now. I'm just in a, such a state, like, I would say hi. <laughs> I'm not, I didn't, but um, the state is very, very close because I finally finished and I'm done. Yay! <laughs> I'm not sure I will be stitching tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, so let's see what I've been working on. And our last contestant was Heritage Stitch Crafts uh, artwork by John Clayton, The Winter Ship. Um, I bought this kit originally in Thailand. It was a kit with the pattern, pre-sorted floss and 14 count Ada, which I am stitching on on a 14 count Ada. I didn't have any uh, materials to change it. I thought first I would do it on an even weave, but since I was stuck and wanted to start it as fast as I can, so I did. And now I'm doing it in 14 count Ada and I'm loving it. I'm loving how fast and how easy it goes, uh, unlike my other projects. Um, and though it's like very confetti heavy, it's still such a relaxing stitch and I like my stitches to be relaxing. So a little bit of numbers. So the last time uh, it got 399 stitches in four hours. I think my speed got way lower than I wanted it to, but I'm kind of feeling like under the weather. I think my cold is kicking in. So that's how what I've been stitching. Mostly it's just the same, like the yellows are for the horse and the reds are for the Halloween girl, blues for heritage stitch crafts, and this is the owl fox. So let's see my new start. Where it is right now.
This is a little tiny fox. I think I will be able to finish it next week maybe or just the stitches and then the back stitch. I am um all of the patterns have very intricate um blackboard background which I usually do with the back stitch. I don't really understand how the blackboard works. So I'm thinking of doing the fox with a green, like emerald green background, because her oranges very pop up. And I intentionally chose such unremarkable lemon fabric. No one will notice what's on the background, right? Especially like with this kind of um, uh, black work. I didn't want it to steal any, any attention of it. So it's done on 30 count lemon even leaf. Next one. The Halloween girl got two times, but very little actually time. Uh, I think if I focus on her the whole for the whole day, I could finish her easily because the backstitch here is not difficult at all. Like it can it's all counted and very easy. And I don't know, it just uh, follows all the lines and waves and oh, I don't know. It's just so gorgeous, so gorgeous. So I did that line of her face. I need more on her hair and more backstage her mask. There is also white backstage and pumpkins and her formidable breasts. My favorite part of here. I really like stitching them. That was so easy. Just row, 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 row. Like unlike other parts of her, not many blends there. <laughs> and the last but not the least is a horse dream catcher. Oh, it's glowing so badly. Uh, I'm stitching it with using with a soluble canvas DMC, and I actually need to find another piece and uh, sew it underneath so I can start stitching the horse's mane and his back and his paws more. So this project got the most attention I think and I'm finishing this week reaching my goal of 1100 stitches and I think only this project got this weekend around 800 stitches. I'm counting Friday evening too but it got 800 stitches. So I really, really need to focus on the horse. We can see the eye hole, eye, eye socket. We can see the horns, horns will go up here. So it almost goes up to the very top of the um, soluble canvas. Like this here is the furthest point, so it will not go any further. So I'm pretty sure I, I'm okay with my margins. <laughs> but I still need to sew more down there. So this will be the first thing I will start doing maybe tomorrow after work. And a little bonus, we are gonna open the cake because it's celebration. I finished my 24 hours and I deserve some treat. So first of all, let's open this one. Ooh, these are these were shipped straight from Shanghai. Actually, Filipino uh, lady is making them handmade. Mary Sweets. And she's oh, delivering all around China. She is the best. And this is a pumpkin cream cheese frosting cake. Ooh. So I guess my Thanksgiving won't be so bad after all.